join us now for a moment of faith with Dr. Joe Arthur, pastor of the Harvest Baptist Tabernacle in Jonesboro, Georgia. This is an internet broadcast that will air daily at 12.30 p.m. and will remain on our Harvest Facebook page for you to view at any time. This broadcast is to uplift God's children and to remind us all that faith is the victory that overcometh the world. Now here's our pastor with a moment of faith, Dr. Joe Arthur. Well, glory and greetings today in the name above every name. And we welcome you today to our gathering. And we're excited to see out of the word of God today what God can do in your life and mine in a moment of faith. We've been preaching from 2 Timothy chapter number 2 on how to be a good soldier in the army of the Lord. And again, let me emphasize that the Christian life is not a country club. It's not a walk in the park. It's not a breeze through the fairy tale land. It is a battle. It is a struggle from within, from without. Because the powers of, from beneath are battling the powers from above. And we are engaged in spiritual warfare. But I want to be a good soldier. One that honors my captain, fulfills my duty, and represents my country well. Well, here in 2 Timothy chapter 2, Paul the old preacher is writing to Timothy the young preacher and is telling him some principles in his life that if he will put into practice, it will help him and aid him in being a good soldier. We looked at verse number one, a good soldier must be strong but he must realize where his strength comes from. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. I want to come today to verse number four. And to be a good soldier, we not only need to be strong, but according to verse number four, a good soldier must be separated. He must be separated. Notice what he says in verse number four. No man, no man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life that he, be, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. So therefore that soldier in the army must be dedicated to, and consecrated to the office, to the position of a soldier. He cannot concentrate, daydream. He cannot involve himself too deeply with lesser things, other things. He calls it the cares of this life, all tangled up in it. Because if he's going to please him who chose him to be a soldier, he must be dedicated, consecrated, and separated. Now, immediately, when I use the word separation, I know what some of the people who despise fundamentalism, who snarl at our doctrine, who snarl at even our name, Independent Baptist, I know what they say. There's an old Phariseeism again. There's an old man-made religion again. You hear me out. There's a twofold separation in the Bible. There's a separation not only from, but there's a separation to. If you're just separated from a bunch of stuff and not separated to, then you're nothing more than a Pharisee. And you won't have a closer walk with God. You won't be separated to do you get separated from? And biblical separation, that is nothing even remotely with being a Pharisee, being a holier than thou, being a hermit, living in a cave. Listen, 
God knows that we're in this world. God knows we serve him in this world. We live in this world. We raise families in this world. We exercise our calling in this world. We have ministries in this world. We are in this world. And we are in this world for the purpose to proclaim the gospel and shine the light. But may I emphasize today that, yes, we are in the world, but we are not of the world. You see, the soldier is different. He wears a uniform that distinguishes him. His discipline distinguishes him. His lifestyle, his practice, his exercise, what he's doing, how he lives, how he conducts his life is different. Because if he's going to be a good soldier, he's got to concentrate on being a good soldier. He's got to make a conscious choice to be a good soldier. He has to give it all of his might, all of his fiber, and all of his being. He can't sleep in the bunk and be a good soldier. He can't stay on the perimeter and be a good soldier. He must dedicate himself, consecrate himself. He must be all in if he is going to please the one who chose him. To be a soldier. Notice the word Paul uses through the Holy Spirit in verse 4. Entangleth himself. In other words, getting all cumbered about with the affairs of this life. Now let me say this to you today. There's nothing wrong with having things. God has blessed most of us with some nice things. I don't believe the Lord minds you and I enjoying nice things. It's okay to have things. But when things have you, then that's where it becomes a weight and a sin. I don't believe the Lord minds if we have some recreation time. I don't believe the Lord minds if we have some hobbies that give our minds rest and our spirit rest. But when your hobbies have you, when your exercises have you, when pleasure and entertainment and relaxation have you, and it's a dominating factor in your life, that's when it becomes a weight or sin. And by the way, you can abuse anything. You can take something that's in, it, in itself very harmful, but an excess of it becomes dangerous. There's nobody watching this broadcast that likes to hunt uh, any more than I do, unless it's Dennis Coral or somebody like that. But, uh, and Keith Gomez. Uh, they're hunters, and I love them. But you know what they do? They serve God first. They live for God first. Uh, Brother Dennis is an evangelist first. Brother Keith is a pastor first. I love to hunt. But, brother, I'm not doing that on Sunday. I'm not doing that on Wednesday. And I'm not going to do so much of it that I can't study to prepare to preach the Word of God. You golf players out there, well... Uh, I guess it's okay to play a little round of golf. Why, sure, that's wonderful. But you you can't let golf dominate your whole life. You got to preach. You got to study. You got to go soul winning. Brother Sammy Allen, who's now with the Lord, boy, he loved to hunt. He loved to polish those knives. But none of that kept him from the Word of God and the study of the Word of God. And fulfilling his calling. you got to have money to pay bills. We need to be good stewards of what God's given us. It's okay to enjoy the great blessings of God. No good thing will he will hold from them that woke up rightly. But we cannot be dominated by our money. 
We cannot be dominated by our pleasure. We cannot be dominated by our possessions. We must keep in mind we're soldiers in an army. And we're going to be dedicated to it, consecrated to it, giving our all to it, serving the Lord with all of our heart and our might and our mind and our soul. May every breath of our body, every fiber of our being, every mental faculty that we have, every energy of the soul be channeled into pleasing God and serving God and not being entangled with the affairs of this life that we may please him who chosen us to be a soldier. Keep studying the battle plan. Keep studying the manuscript. Keep your weapons polished and bathed in prayer and keep your eyes and ears toward the captain and follow Jesus. And every day, let's make up our mind. We want to please the one who chose us to be a soldier. Well, I've enjoyed our time together today and I'm looking forward to see what God's going to do next time in your life and mine. Hallelujah. In a moment of faith.